guys are doing well today what are you what are you wearing uh this is a space helmet i've read somewhere that you're going to be doing some uh space exploration and visiting different planets oh okay well i guess yeah that makes sense then totally carry on i will all right today we're going to be playing outer wilds and this is a game that's been on my wish list for a long time just never got around to playing it and I'm itching for a, a new single player experience that is supposed to be pretty amazing. So I'm excited to play it. It's going to be a completely blind uh, playthrough. I've always wanted to play this game, I just never got around to it. Don't forget to, uh, if you like this sort of stuff, um, like and subscribe. And I'm going to continue this game and other games in the future, mostly single player. I love my immersive uh, single player games. So if you like that too, then would you like to become a Helmithian? Join today, right guy? Yeah, you could join. I'm excited to play this game with you as well. Can't wait to experience this. I mean, my favorite was uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. As you know, we loved that game. You and me, great times with that one. Agreed. Make sure all of our options are A-OK. -okay. I got a controller, um, which I'll use. <laughs> Without further delay, let's go ahead and jump into this Outer Wilds game. Already the soundtrack is super good. Loving it so far. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. Start this new expedition. You ready, buddy? Yep. Uh, why don't you read uh, what the characters are saying and I'll read what my character is saying. Okay, sounds like a deal. I don't mind. All right. Character just woke up from a nap. Cool. Hello. Slate. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go, I remember if you are. You're sure you fixed the retro rockets? Let's uh, ask that. That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the Observatory Falls before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Ooh, we can see our legs. Okay. So I have to go to the lift falls, it seems. Car's launch codes. I need the launch codes. Oh. It's not really sure. So triangle brings my... Okay, X is jump. Hold. Oh, look at that. A little moon there or something. I can already tell the music is going to blow me away here. Okay, let's go talk to this guy here. Talk to Micah. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Let's try that. Yeah. 
We recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Okay. We can do this. Fly the model ship. What was that? Huge shadow. Wow. Look at this. I love this. I love this. Okay, fly a model ship. Oh, here we go. Okay, L2, R2. Whoa. Whoa. Easy now. This is going to be a disaster. Let's reset that. All right, let's try again here. There. Did I land it? Micah? Did I do a good job? Okay, let's try again. Just takes a little bit of practice, that's all. And land it. Land it! There you go. Let's try the smaller one. There we have it. Not bad. Let's go say hi to this guy over here. Oh, he didn't like that. Okay, so once I lose control, it's pretty much over. Did I do a good job, Micah? What a landing. I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Yeah, well... If that's a preview of what's going to happen, I'm pretty scared. I mean, visually, this is pretty impressive stuff. Love the planets, moons orbiting around this, whatever this is here. This little planet. Okay. Porphy. Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and the Gazan. Open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the stars. Amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap of wine. A more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Maybe we'll share that wine when I come back. Launch tower. We're just gonna explore everything here. Observatory. A few more NPCs here. Ne niece? Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater soon. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Yeah. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church's drums. Ryback's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And the Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though a Feldspar has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space, there'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Right, which is this, I guess, right? Well, that's cool. It's like 20,000 meters away. It's a banjo playing. Harmonica. Oh, he's close. That miss, the missing Voyager is very close, actually. The harmonica player. 260 meters away. All right, talk to him. Let's talk to this guy, then go to the observatory. Marl. 
So it's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? Ha! You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Well, thanks, pal. Thanks a lot. We'll go to the observatory. Um, at first, though, I wanted to check Dr. Rutile here. Reaction blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, let's see that one. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Use uh, satellite camera. Sure. This projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Wow, so this is happening in real time right now. That's so cool. Huge geyser right there. There it is. Boom. There it is. It's our spot. I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? I think, yeah, that's, that was the, um, well, actually, no, I don't know. That's super cool. The pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in the Hearthian's history. So we're a Hearth creature. Or are we, this is the planet that we're on. But we are like some sort of lizard person. A, rept, a reptilian, probably. Cool, I guess this is just the workshop for Micah to build his rockets. All right, let's go check out the observatory, which is this way. I mean, so far, so good, right? Yeah. I'm pretty immersed right now, I gotta say, and uh, I love seeing all these planets around us. That... Maybe we can reach them with our spaceship? I'm not sure, but... That would be very, very interesting. All right. Talk to Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow that signal scope because it's really delicate and it's not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Woohoo, okay. Here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. All right. Signal scope. Hide and seek. Let's do it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Over here. I mean, I could see you in plain sight. Hello. Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. I mean, it wasn't really good. Don't forget you have to find both of us, okay? Okay, next. Over here somewhere, there you are. I won? I'm happy, thanks for playing with us. Okay, no problem. Well, 
Thank you for showing me how to use this signal scope properly. You talk the spinal. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giants Deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? I need to find Hornfells. Yeah, why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giants Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly, Garbo couldn't go any further. Tell me more. Yeah, Giant's Deep has a current you can't pass through. I underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect him from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it, the tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? Heard it from Gabbro himself. Gabbro could be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go see Giant's Deep for yourself. I will. That sounds amazing. Giant's Deep. We gotta go there for sure. Planet of Water. take a moment <sighs> yeah I think we're gonna like this game here mm hmm oh okay so that's your flashlight cool hello what the hell hi astronaut you know the patch of ghost matter inside the, this fence Dawson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling because ghost matter evaporated just takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm all grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know ghost matter is how Tektite lost their foot, right? Well, really? That is so cool. Danger, inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around, Hornfells. So, do I have a camera? Use camera. Oh, here we go, okay. Ah. Like an aura. Okay. Good to know. This huge geyser is gonna blow up here. No, it's a waterfall. Zero G cave. Let's check out this little tree house here. Moraine. Hmm, oh hello astronaut, this is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? Any good sounds from space today? I'm using a, my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the outer wilds of Venture's frequency so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybik's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Equip the signal scope. Hide and seek, yes. Wow. Uh, 
That's awesome, man. Oh, what's this? Ooh, some ice planet. What about this guy? Looks like that might be the deep, the water thing that the planet that the guy was talking about. Okay. Um, maybe we go higher? Use Scout Launcher. Young Bar Crater. Northwest Geyser Mountains. Someone's on there. Flute. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. Uh, Quantum Grove Crater. Nome Ruins. Okay. I'm guessing I can visit those places eventually. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher, Gossin. Absolutely, I do. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, Are you kidding me? I'm a natural at this. Yeah. A little nervous, I would say. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about the ship, if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave or dome. So long as you're confident, you can make ship repairs in space. Um, let's repair it. Cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I need some practice. I don't know how to do that stuff, so let's go. Down we go. Deep. Right into the core. Wow, okay. Very quiet in here. Suit up. Oh. Oh, there's a person down here. Who is it? Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Guess where I'm going today. Oh, no, 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 no way. You want to not run off into space? That's your business. But don't make me, you know, think about it. Bad enough we got this weird cave down here. What is he doing exactly? Hey, you're back. You need something? Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it. Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey. How about that? Is anything on fire? Yeah. They were on fire watch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude. How long they laugh for, if you ask me. Okay. Wow. The Zero G thing is pretty responsive. They're, they want me to descend here. Easy now. Boom. It looks like we have a finite amount of fuel. Which is never good. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, let's descend. Wow, it's very dark down here. 
Oh. Okay, so we have some stuff to repair here. Locking on to it for some reason. I think we're we're gonna be so screwed in space. Yeah, the lock on's not working for me here. So I'm going to be so screwed in space when I have to fix something. Yeah. I'm like spinning out of control right now. Okay, I just gotta slow down a little bit. Where's this last one here? Fifty percent fuel. To go in here. Not too bad. Done. back up here I think oh Jesus all right let's go back and see uh, the guy who gave us the mission thought we did pretty good there You have to repair something in a panic situation, you're kind of screwed. I think you're right. The fact that you didn't know how to lock on and stuff might be a big problem in the future. Hell mythic. Nicely done, of course, it'll be just a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I've put so much time into training you, got it? Got it, thank you. Thank you for teaching me. I think we go this way now. To the launch tower. Look at this. Hornfels, Gossen, Feldspar, Exker, and Slate. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhardt and okay. All right. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members: Clockwise from top to left, Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. I think Feldspar is the one that's like missing, right? Harmonica guy. 
Utter wild adventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. Cool. What's wrong, Hal? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nome text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Oh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hashlings. I can't wait to see you all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nome statue? New statue? Of course. Just here for the launch codes. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. You're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see this statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish you could see what a real live Nome looks like, but I guess this is as close as it will ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, geez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear. So these are the Nome. Kind of look like goats to me. This is a remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nome, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet at the Nome, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Cool. I wonder if we'll see one. Mm, three eyes. Three eyeballs. Little museum here. What's this about? Ooh, what's this? What the hell is this? Translate. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix, fortunately, the Adlerock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. This piece of Nome writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nome text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. What about this? Each branch. That's so cool. So we know a few things about the Nome. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nome also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nome art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nome originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nome born in our solar system or were they born amongst the stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno archaeological expeditions. Cool. What you see here are parts of the Nome skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nome body was likely adapted from living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nome's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that the Hearthians couldn't have descended from the Nomean ancestors. It's not clear where the Nome originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. This looks like maybe the first drone sent. Oh, the Nome technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. 
For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. That's we actually use this um, to look at the areas of the, at the top of that scaffold thing that we went to, which is really cool. So that's because of the Nome we were able to use that technology. Ooh, this crystal was taken from a Nome ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. That's awesome. Is that nome, a nome structure right there? What's this thing? This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear at one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Yeah, we'll be long gone before that happens. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Idle Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Oh, must be flying right above us right now. Yeah, there it was. There it goes. Coming soon. Future site of our next exhibit. If you enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. Well, this was interesting as heck, but we didn't go in this room. Wait, yes we did. Yeah, we explored everything. Before we go up there, let's just check this area out here. What are these things? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. The Grabro explains uh, the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever it actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Let's take a look at it. Whoa! It's gone. Hmm. Okay, now this one's gone. Yeah, it keeps jumping around. Creep your rock, for sure. Before we go up there, I think that was it, actually, yeah. Okay. Let's get our launch codes and get this party started. Yeah. 
view the map. Whoa. Okay. Giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. Brittle Hollow. The Sun. Hourglass Twins. Timber Hearth. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Our little solar system. Hornfels, one of the founding members. There you are, I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nome Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nome. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nome. I'll meet up with the other travelers. Want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I do want to see the other travelers. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. But see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabbro is on Giant Steep, last I checked. And well, it's his Feldspar, obviously. But of course, we don't know where they are or if they're even alive. I think that's a harmonica player, and we did find him on our signal scope. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Eskar Station on the Adel Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nevertheless. Okay, maybe we go there first. As Adel Rock is the closest. It's our moon, I think. Well, then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. So, yeah, my first priority is to go see those astronauts and then figure out more, you know, about the Nome and then discover something unknown. I'm ready to die in space. That's pretty... Uh, I think I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch coats then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. By the way, uh, thanks for, for reading all this. Yeah, no problem. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying reading. Um, usually I don't, but this game, it's very interesting, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Plus, uh, I think people will, will appreciate the voice acting that I'm delivering. Oh, yeah. For sure. You're doing a great job. Great job. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light of this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. This image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Yeah. All right, let's go punch in those launch, launch codes and set off on our little adventure. Um... heck was that did it just like observe what I just did oh man the nome are out there they're for sure out there oh ow hey hey so did you get a good look at the nome statue but the statue looked at me and opened its eyes well what were the statue was doing what so its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, the statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying.
Hey, fella. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfels will be really sad if you don't come back. Like, how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. I'll try not to, kid. I'm not planning on it. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's warning system for this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cool. This is where it all started. Let's roast a marshmallow before we uh, get off this rock here. If I can, um... there we go. Yum. No need to sleep where we're going here. Let's go enter those launch codes and uh, let's travel. Here we go. Here's our ship. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay. Got my little gravity crystal. Let's do the ship log. Get some Amber Twins, Ash Twins. The Addle Rock might be the first place we go check out. Giant's Deep. And our sun, obviously, we can't land there. Rumor. Rumor. Okay. The Nome text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of advice on the Adler Rock. Interesting. Garbo's on Giant's Deep. Okay, you know that. Esker's camp. The Adler Rock. So that'll be the first thing we go to, I think. The Adel Rock, I think, is the first area we're going to go to for sure. Refuel jetpack, return suit. We don't need it yet, so let's just return it. But buckle up. Wow, just like that. This is basically like... Um, flying in the spacesuit. Well, it's a good thing we don't run out of fuel, so coming in hot a little bit. Okay, that's the landing, it seems like. Jesus. There we go. Oh, almost, almost. I'm gonna land right here. Whoa! Wow! Oh, 
All right, let's land it. Can we not land it? I'm so sorry. There we go. All right. my suit that's better right, let's try to find um, Gabro right or is it which one are we looking for in here damn it what's this here Trish research notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that, that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I posit the idle rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where the Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Ah makes sense makes a lot of sense Ooh. so these crystals are from the dark bramble it's very dark we have whistling coming very close here I need four on the other side of this planet, it seems like. On the opposite end. Let's go take a look. Oh my god. This is brutal. I suck so much at controlling jetpacks and spaceships. This was not smart because now I'm far away from my uh, spaceship. This guy's right here. Signal nearby. There he is. Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see, actually. It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? Is that you whistling? Seems lonely up here. What is this place? Yeah. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. You know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go, I mean. Anything else you wanted to ask? Don't the other travelers come by? Seems lonely up here. Yeah, what is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just suppressing. Sigh. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the villages and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising samplings from timber hearths and keeping an eye on things. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells, and Gossen mostly, and they radio up the chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? You spy on us? That they forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system let alone our village. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. 
Yet their travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a single scope, and you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole Great Reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini map, but the Owl Rock is pretty small, Moon. Really, just go north. Can't miss it. All right. Talk to you later. He's just a lonely man. Let's refuel. Just go north. Oh, I see our mini map now. Makes all the sense in the world. Activate upwards thrusters. Okay. This is what I, this is where I wanted to land initially. Here we are. Esker signal scope log. Day forty eight. Still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll be better once I hear their music. Listening to Chert play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldar's harmonica. But Felspar's disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Gnice. Nice. Nice. Just call him nice, I think. So you're telling me... There's the banjo. Flute. Aha. That's weird, because there's one coming from there as well. In here. Okay. Maybe go, we go back to our ship here and... Um... Whoa. What's this? Hang on. I kind of want to check the South Pole. But maybe we'll use our ship to get there. Alright. I do want to check out that harmonica. I don't want to fly into the sun by accident. Okay, maybe we let's go check this out first. Since we're right there. this thing. It's laying right here. Perfect. Perfect landing. Yes, view the ship log. Where the hell am I? Lunar lookout. Harmonica signal, correct. Let's just view the entry. Esker is growing a crop of trees on their camp. They seem to be doing okay. 
they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Esker, Esker's signal scope log reports harmonica and music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica. Feldspar's has appeared in space ages ago. Indeed, he did. But where are we now? I think we're on Hollow's Lantern, or no, we're on the Hourglass Twins. This is what this is, the Hourglass Twins. Yes, this is ex exactly where we are. Hourglass Twins. I forget who's here. There is someone here. Whoa! I wonder if my spaceship's getting massacred by this thing. I wonder. I mean, that's probably not a good spot to park your ship. So let me move it. Let me move it sh the ship for... Move it right here. Easy now. Easy, 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 easy. Beautiful ending. Beautiful. Okay. Suit up. Open hatch. What's this over here? Hello? right over there. Hello there. Chert. The stars, they're all dying. They've been too many supernovas for it to be anything else. We're next. Do you understand our son by Hearth's name? We're next. What do you mean we're next? I found something. Why are the stars dying? What are you doing here? Where should I explore? Here. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? Yeah, what do you mean we're next? It's the stars you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did you have to be born at the time of the universe? And our sun, it... The star charts why. Why do I want to update them so badly? I didn't want to, no, but no, oh no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our sun is about to, about to, oh. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. Why isn't that great? Do you know what? I found a few things myself. Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun is about to go supernova. And me, all my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, you understand? Is this guy crazy? Why are the sires dying? I don't know. They're old, far older than we realized. And now, all of a sudden, all of them are dying. What does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. All my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted. I need to... Not as dangerous as what's about to happen. Okay, so he's just talking about how the sun's gonna explode all the time. Well, let's take a nap here. Take a nap and maybe he'll, um... Nope, he's still crazy. I mean, we got a roast of marshmallow.
Thanks, buddy. Sorry you lost your mind. So Church's kind of lost it. Wow, we're so close to the sun right now. Look at this. So cool. I guess that's the ship over there. That looks awesome. I kind of want to go to that huge sand thing. Gravity is just too extreme here. Whoa. What's going on right now? What the hell is going on? flashing before my eyes. What? The sun explode? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's off fueled up, ready to go. What? Well, he had a bad dream or something. So look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. What the hell? The Nome is screwing with me right now. I think I need to go check out their their planet or something. That's wild. I church camp. There's more to explore here. The stars are simply dying from old age. Apparently they're older than they realize. But like what happened to me? Did I die? Okay, before we go back to Church's planet. I do want to finish this rumor about the lunar lookout talking about a harmonica signal in on the timber hearth okay now if we go on this map here timber hearth oh that's the planet we come from got it so let's take the ship back actually let's stay in this planet here but let's take a look at where this Monica is playing on the planet. So I have a feeling it's somewhere here. Probably close to here. 300 meters. Two hundred. Here it is. Huge crater. Some weird looking stuff down there. All right. 
Don't think I need my uh, suit. Feldspar? Oh. What the hell is that? Tectite. Hey, yo, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin ant of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon. I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come here myself and take a look. So what crashed? Is that a dark bramble seed? Yeah, so what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hashling. And as a fact, I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on him. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into something that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. A hundred percent. So that's it. Harmonica's coming from this sort of seed thing. Hmm. Uh, my son's pick up harmonica inside the seed. Inside the seed, huh? Don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and he disappeared ages ago. Was in here. Don't go telling nice about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has any musical talent. Dark Bramble, huh? Well, it doesn't really answer any questions about the seed. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. What can our ship logs tell us about that now? That's it? Oh, there's more to explore here. There's more to explore. Well, let's let's do a, a sweep of the area here. Maybe I should put my suit on. Missing here. Ow. My legs. That's so crazy. Scared me a little bit, holy shit. Well, I'm not gonna go in it, right? I feel like I've taken some damage here. Well, yeah, what's up here? Let's, let's put the suit on. Enough joking around here. Suit on. Suit up. Oh, 
Oh, is this auto boosters? I don't think I want auto boosters. Because all my fuel will be, uh... I'll just use up all my fuel by accident. There we go. Well then, I'm not really sure what to do about the... That scope. I don't think I have any other weapons or... Can't shoot it, can't interact with it, you know? Interesting. So maybe we go to the Brittle Hollow. Hmm. Talk to him one more time here. So we have to go talk to some people. I'm gonna go check out the brittle, what's it called? The planet where he thinks it came from. Um, turn the suit. Let's go to the, the brittle hollow. I think is that. Or is that our moon? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we've been there before. I don't know what this is here. It's the hourglass thing. I don't think this is the Brittle Hollow. This is going away from me. Come back to me, please. Play on target. There we go. Easy entry now. Slow it down. Nice and easy now. Yep. Here we have it. Perfect. All right. Let's land on this piece right here. Oh, God. Yeah, I just broke something. All right. Yeah. Something smashed. Yeah, there we go. There we have it. Perfect. Um. Cool.
Hmm. Um, not exactly sure where we are. Another harmonica, but that's, I think we just came from there, I believe. That harmonica might be on this planet, actually. Wish there was a way we could uh, refuel. There we go. Oops. Turn. Buckle up. Yeah, so there's harmonica coming from over here. Is it inside? Oh man, all right. Let's try it. Slowly go inside here. Keep our headlights on. Oof. This is, is this the bramble? And this is goes deep. Deeper than I thought it would go. Okay. Hmm. A couple lights down here. The music is ominous. Lights just disappeared. I wonder why. Let's get our scope over here. Not getting anything. Now it's 800 meters away, it says. What are these lights? Oh. 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 Oh, okay. It's that small creature we saw in the museum, but it's actually huge and alive. Maybe we can go around it. Let's just fly towards the harmonica. Oh my god, okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Here we go. Something in here. Feldspar? Is that you? Gone again. Uh, now it's like 700 meters away again. I don't like this at all. This is very, very trippy. I hope there's no big ass fish in here. Oh. Signals right there. Again, the harmonica. All that just... This is what landed on that moon. somewhere here. Maybe right here.
Doesn't seem solid. Yeah, it's floating. Scout launcher. Maybe I'll, I launch, launch a scout into it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm losing control. Stop, 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 stop. Buckle up. Okay, match the velocity. Let's get closer to this thing. Maybe we'll launch a scout right in the middle of it. this thing if I bumped into it what would happen nothing and I both pinpoint location okay well how the hell do we get out of here now It's us. Nice. Unbuckle for a minute. Let's match the velocity and let's just check something here. Let's figure out our ship logs here. Where the hell are we right now? We're definitely on the. Um, the brittled hollow, right? No, no, we're on the dark bramble. We're far. We're deep. How do we get out of here? That's the question. Towards the lights? I want to go back there, though. I want to figure this out. Whatever it is. something here I heard a huge explosion Feldspar? Is that you? 
Oh no, we're restarting again. Well... Here we are again. Hmm. Time, there is a time loop going on here. Okay. So we finally got to that, the heart of that bramble, but then we got reset. So let's go back to the bramble, figure out what exactly that thing is. First, we gotta find it again. Whoa, Jesus. Whistling, there it is. Go, 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 go. Don't have much time. I saw a tree and everything. I gotta go check it out. Slow it down. Slow it down. No, oh God. Slow it down. Wow, I went way past the freaking... Slow down. here. Let's try this again. Fuck is that thing? Slow down. Okay, we'll go towards the light bulbs, I think. If it's one of those those fish will just turn around. It's towards that one. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Hmm. Well, that didn't work this time. So every time we die, we just restart the whole thing. <gasps> hey, 
Every time, and also that like explodes every single time. All right. Okay. Well, I think maybe we take a break from going into that bramble crap. Kind of want to go to the big deep thing here, right there. Figure out what's over there. No, this is it. This is where I want to be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whoa. The hell? Where did it go? Oh, that's the twins, we don't want that. What the hell's this? Okay, I guess we'll go there. How about that? Thing. I do want to land on that thing. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Nice! Perfect landing! Exactly where I want to be. Ghost matter detected. Ghost matter detected. Uh. Jetpack's pretty much useless here. Can I not go in here? Is it bad? I just can't step on these crystals here. Right? Oops. Dead. Well, certainly I'm dying a lot. Here's the, uh, they're getting used to me now, like, oh, this guy again. This idiot died again. He's trying to do so many things. And there it explodes again. A teleporter, some sort of teleporter that explodes. Very confused. I'm lost. You're not doing well. You're, you keep dying. What is that blue thing? What is that? Let's go chase it. Chase that blue thing. Find out what the hell that is. Go, 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 go. All rockets towards that blue device. What it where the hell that is. We're gonna go towards it. I see it every time I wake up. It blows up a huge structure and flies away. We're gonna find out what the hell it is. It's got no frequency. Come on. 
All thrusters are go. Can't quite make out what it is. Flying flight returning to the solar system. Oh. Okay. Getting close to it. I can almost see what it is. All right, let's go back. It's too far gone. All right, let's go back then. It's gonna take me back to our solar system. There's more to explore. Dark Seed, which I couldn't figure out. Church Camp. There's more to explore on that planet, the Twin Suns. Lunar Ruins, the Adel Rock. Now, Maytex Observer talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. Maybe we go check out the Lunar Ruins? Giant's Deep, we tried to go in there and failed miserably. So let's go back to the Adel Rock and check out the Lunar Ruins. I see them. I see them. Oh, God. Oh. There we go. Slow it down. Here there. Here we are. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Your ship should really be destroyed at this point. Yeah, I know. Running into everything. Hey, you. What? something okay let's translate this here Kalias, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the Sun Giants deep and brittle hollow however something strange is happening when I asked the eye signal to the locator to follow the eye signal 
Weiss's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Felix, I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava, our research for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Thatch, this is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. So they were chasing some sort of eye. Ship log update. The eye of the universe. Whatever the hell that means. Pick up the scroll. Put it right here. What the fuck am I doing? Thatch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be a larger than this eye signal locator. Mm -hmm. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build it there. I imagine our young friend Kanoe would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Anona and those of us originally stranded on Amber Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay, so Brittle Hollow and the Twin Sun, looks like they did build something over there. Okay, wow, wow, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomei locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, from what little I understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Hmm. The mystery continues to unravel. Let's align more of these things here. So that gives me the sun? Yes. So that's the sun. I think this is the deep, right? Where is that? Right here. And this, was that Brittle Hollow that just destroyed, blew up? I think it's behind the sun right now. I think, I'm not sure. All right, let's try this one. That's the eye of the universe, I suppose. doesn't know where it is. Well, I don't want to leave it like this. Okay, let's check our ship logs here. Let's find out some more information about the the creatures that used to the Nome. The Nome? Here we are. The 
The Nome are disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. So, Rybeck. Rybeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something that Nome were doing at the South Pole. Nome decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. So let's do... Brittle? Let's go back. Let's go to Brittle Hollow. Let's go check out with Raybeck. He's at the South Pole. So South Pole of Brittle Hollow, which is pretty close to here. Brittle Hollow. I think it's that. I think it's that. I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's go towards that. Right? What's that? No, no, no. Shit. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell that is over there. Where'd it go? Okay. Let's buckle up. Open our map. There we go. For some reason, it's not going to let me lock on. So, I'll have to just fly to it manually. Yeah, flying towards that thing. Slow and steady, let's just keep our map handy. Yeah, so I'm going towards it right now, pretty fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. Slow it right the hell down. Okay, apparently there's something at the south pole of this. So either the north or south, doesn't matter which way we start. Let's go up here. They were trying to build something. Someone's already here. It's right back. Alright, just like that. Smooth operator. It's down here. I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar, would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Damn. North on the equator to try to find a way down. Hmm. I think we take our ship at this point, right? Oh no. Okay, I thought that was an asteroid going. Not sure. So the sun does explode, right? That's why we we restart every time. Whoa. Oh my god, alright. I think we're okay. Let's take the ship.
what we'll do is we're gonna go into the core it's a, itself and try to find a way in. Actually, what's this here? There we go. Hmm, what's that? Whoa! Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. No, no. Let's read it. Oh, too close. Patch, Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grows are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. So the moon is... It would be... I'm not sure. I, th I, th I thought I saw it earlier. Just like the big... Um... Hmm. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twin. Suppose there are other shards like this round. Alright. Cool. There it is. Gotta figure out how to land on that thing. Oh no! This thing just like... Completely moved my ship. Oh, some more notes. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your ob observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Alarmingly, this isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard or rock, moving in the same eerie way. The rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Bloom is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read the notes. Wow, it's deep down there. Look at that. To a launch. I get a good launch. Wow. Gotta get down there. All right. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, Descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Well, how do we get in? Surface integrity 6%. How do we get in there? Gosh. God. I think we're falling here. Oh.
We have to go back to that moon. Right, 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 right. Light source. No, the camera. I should launch my drone. Let's go back to that moon. Figure it out. Where's my log here? Quantum shards, yes. Hourglass Twins this is all connected. Let's check this here. North Ruins. But it's broken. Let's go back. Gotta go back to that moon. Brittle Hollow. Where is it? Whoa. This thing just appeared again. Let's try to go in here. for fun. It disappears. All right. So asteroids are hitting this moon. And eventually it's gonna collapse, so we have like a little bit of a time limit here. If that's the case, let's just go to all the locations that we need to go to, like right here, for example. Not a good landing. What about this? Just get the fuck out of this thing. Ain't got time. What's this? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for too long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we need to construct a way from, for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Platforms, huh?
What's this here? Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Launching escape pod 3, launching 2, now launching escape pod 1. Escape pod 1 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy. Verdict hospitable. There you have it. Oh no. Is this the platforms they were talking about? go down. Oh no. Caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta be mindful of my fuel. Where do I go here? Down here? Look at this. Getting close to something. Wow. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Ship log update. Okay. I think we just we're on the right path here. Just keep going. Definitely. I do want to read all these notes though, I find them very interesting. Ooh. Gravity crystals you can walk on. Given concerns about our settlement's stability. Where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then it is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Yes. Okay, well I'll go there in a second. I just gotta explore this this settlement, looks like. The Nome cl clearly built some structures here for a while and get some more more writing here this knowledge is too dear to lose here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel the signal was older than the universe itself this is the most significant detail no nome clan has ever encountered anything like it how can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare, profound knowledge it might offer. We might find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. know about yeah keep going keep trucking the hardest path of this tragedy is not knowing who we may have lost or will the hardest part come later when we learn be well on mellow ray so we just keep going down So 
that this was their this was their ship. Maybe that's what I'm seeing explode every time I wake up. Escape pods to each planet. I believe. It looks like the Bramble came by and attacked them. It looks like. I can't understand why the vessel crashed in that place. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, I know not, and I checked it before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Something caused in the crash. Oxygen. Hmm. Okay, let's go to that gravity structure that they built to get to the northern glacier. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Bali, are you still here? I am unsure how to survive in this place without you. I am unsure how to be without you. Curious. Okay, I'm about halfway with the fuel. I think it's time we go to the gravity structure over there. Let's do it. Wow, my goodness, look at this. Insane. So cool. Pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to play this, but it's got me pretty much hooked. I'm curious to know about the Nome and what happened to them and what these crystals are and what's the eye of the universe. And where that har harmonica player has gone, Feldspar, I think his name is. What did he discover? Here's the glacier. skeletons. There's actually something down here, a banjo player down there. We may be running out of time. I don't want to go in that yet. Ghost matter detected nearby. Okay, now I understand how to use this thing. I have to, s I have to somehow jump over it like that. This is all correct, I think. Pick up that scroll.
Oxygen. Where do I put this scroll here? Okay. Let's go back up. Go back up and jump over. Here we go. Explanation of festivals. All the nomic lands from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. Can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nome get to advance too, like Anona's Warp's Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival convoy to show their most interesting work. Our convoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. How do we remove? Can we not remove it? Put a new one in. Already holding a scroll. How do we drop this? Yeah, let's drop it and then let's pick that up. Remove it. Put that over here. Take this. Plug it in. Why should we build a new vessel? Probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down other structures like the towers on Ash Twin for parts. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Poke tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel because Poke is smart. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now. Even though vessels are normally large, but we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It will also help if we stop building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yaro. He says we use a lot of resources on the Ash Twins project. Each Nome clan explores the universe in its own vessel. Vessel is the heart of every clan. It's usual for Nome to remain in one place for so long. Nome are wanderers and have no permanent home. Reminds me of Tally in the Mass Effect series. If we build a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous ways of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here on, in this star system. We could even meet with other Nome and learn from them like Colia says we used to. Okay, let's go check out the last scroll, which is over here. Oxygen is fine. I am wounded though, I think. Character looks like a little red. So... Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's a scary to think about even though Kanoid tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Which is true. This does, okay, so we want to go... Where do we want to go here? Let's get some oxygen back in us. We've got some, some ghost matter right there, so what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll do that super skillful um, juke, which will, and then we'll go this way, up the tower, into God knows where. And all these bridges as well, look at this, huge structures here. Okay. 
Ghoul District, Meltwater District, Eye Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District. That's it. Oh, I can walk on this thing. There's so much to explore here. So this is the... Meltwater District. Oh my god, okay. Planet's about to explode again. Black hole forge controls. Just brought something up. Okay, something that was in the black hole. Yay. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we attain it? So many ship log updates. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could create the basic design. This is the safest path. For our clan. It's the safest path, the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. And if the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona who created the original design in our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting the simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Is that what I just extracted from the Black Hole? The core? I think this place is falling apart. Again. Is that the core? Another scroll, I gotta read it. Got to read it. Must know more. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble Plume. My father said many good Nome perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied anglerfish fossil on Amber Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Interesting. So there's knowledge about avoiding them on the Amber Twin. I remember that the anglerfish fossil we used to play in fossil fish cave when we were children. What Malore and I learned from the fossil would be theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. What was? What was it? The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guarantee or reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it is no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we are able to transport it back here. Okay, because they were onto something here, it seems. I feel strange trying to recreate Anona's warped core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care, not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. 
To have the chance to try it is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement was clouded by assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and I have never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I could consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I can have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my own clan. I'm not alone. So we're seeing this civilization, the generations, trying to, I guess, save themselves or escape this solar system. So we're going up. I think this is what we want. Not sure if this is what we want anymore. Maybe we'll out of fuel soon. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then imagine there'd be none of us left. Moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friends Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Another ship log update. Well, I think, um,. We should go back down. The sun looks like it's gonna explode soon. Or oh, this planet seems to be crumbling. It's all this here. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it, Casova. I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct, Clary. Have you seen his readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. So they were actively traveling through black holes, these people. The Hanging City. Oh, nice. Some fuel. Can we not go down? The 
warp. It's broken. I think we go back. I don't remember exactly where. near here oh no yeah we've been here already no way to reverse this thing Yeah, the sun. The sun just blew up. It's over. It's over. Here it is. Oh my god. Well, we discovered a lot of stuff. Uh during that session. to moon, I just saw it. Okay. I'm gonna check my ship logs. Figure out the next plan. For the next session. Let's see here. New ship logs. The Hanging City, Old Settlement, Escape Pod 1. So many things. Oh my god. I am... Yes, this is a lot of stuff. Holy crap. There's more to explore here. I don't doubt it. It's a huge city. Okay. So on our next journey, I do want to go back to the Hanging City and explore more about it. The Nomei debated how to obtain the powerful and highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project, which will lead me, to, I think, to the Black Hole Forge. Um, the Nomei named Poke plan to create a new advanced warp core in the black hole forge which i think we actually lifted out of a black hole first we created wrapped warp technology we visited that glacier so i think we're going to go back to the black hole forge before we um explode before the sun explodes so yeah that'll be the next time i'm enjoying this game a lot and so are you right oh yeah loving this game although your ship Steering and your jetpack steering could use some work, but other than that, you're doing really, really good. Thank you. Yes, um, 
I do need practice with those things. But I think slow, the slower I go, the more skilled I'll be at navigating this this tiny little solar system full of mysteries and stuff. I cannot wait to unravel more mysteries, and I'll see you guys next time. Wow, wow, wow. Where has this game been my whole life? Hey, check out these other videos. Maybe you're in the mood for a cool tribute video or maybe a funny one. Maybe we share the same sense of humor. That would be cool, eh?